In this video, let's look at child routes. Let's say you want a route resolution inside a route that you've already specified. I'm gonna give you an example. So we have settings here, right? Settings is, let's say in your application, the place where the user can configure all their, all their settings. Now let's say you have a page inside settings for their profile, right? Settings slash profile. And uh, let's say you have another page inside the settings feature called settings slash uh, contact. Now you wanna be able to navigate between settings slash profile and settings slash contact within the settings component, all right? So let's say the UI is something like this. You load home, it loads the home component. You load settings, it loads the settings component, but within the settings component, you wanna have the profile rendered in a small window, and then you enter slash uh, contact, you want the contact to be uh, rendered in that window. So you're basically looking at a router outlet, a window, a router window, and inside that you have sub states, you have child routing. How do you specify that in Angular? Let's take a look. So here is my settings component, and in my settings component, what I'm gonna do is uh, provide some kind of a header so that I know that this is the settings page. I'm gonna make this an H1. Settings page. Okay, so I have the settings page here. Now when I go to slash settings, I'm going to get that header. Now within this, I wanna be able to create like a, a component to be rendered below this header. When I enter settings slash profile or settings slash uh, contact, right? Right now there's no match. It's going to the wildcard because I've specified a wildcard at the very bottom, but I want it to match. I want it to match to a sub uh, component, a sub route, a child route of settings. In order to do that, I'm going to go to my routing module here. And here, can I do something like this? I'm gonna say settings slash profile. Can I do this? Well, doing this is not gonna give Angular a clue that this is actually a child route. Well, I guess it can infer from the slash here, but this is not how you do it. What you do instead is to use a property of this route to tell Angular that what, I, what you're configuring is actually a child of this thing. So among all the properties here, so we've seen that this is a route instance, right? This is a route array and this is a route instance. This route object also has a property called children. Can you guess what this does? Yes, it allows you to configure child routes. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna break this uh, object down into uh, for one property for each line because we're gonna be configuring more stuff here. So you have a property called children in this route which lets you configure child routes. Now what is the data type of children? You notice here, the data type of children is actually another route array. We are in a route array here, right? Each object that you're specifying is a route instance. Well, guess what? The route instance has a property called children and the value of that is another route array. So you can actually specify an array of routes as children to an existing route. So that's how you have nested routes or child routes in Angular. You can specify a whole lot of children uh, child routes, which are children to settings. Okay, so let's actually do that. I'm gonna create an array here, and each element here will be no different uh, from what you see over here. This is also a route. So this also takes in an argument, the, the, which is a, this also takes in an object, which is a route object. So I'm gonna specify path attribute, and then I'm gonna specify a component attribute, which is going to be the component. Now the path here is going to be something that gets appended to the parent. Since this is a child, whatever I specify here, so let's say I specify profile, this is gonna be appended to the parent. So in order to re resolve to this component, Angular is gonna match settings slash profile. So it's parent slash child. Now this is a route instance. So this can also have a children property and that can also have a, an array of routes. So in that case, it's gonna add this settings slash profile slash whatever you have in the path over there. So this is this is how we can specify like a nested set of routes. In this case, we're gonna just stick to one level down. So I'm gonna map this profile 
to a settings profile component. Let me create that component first. I'm going to say ng generate component settings profile. And I'm also going to create settings uh, contact. Okay, so now I'm going to specify settings profile component here as the component that needs to be resolved when the URL settings slash profile is accessed. And I'm going to create one more for contact. And then this is going to be settings contact component. Of course, I need to import this. And I hit save. So now what's going to happen is when you access settings slash profile, Angular is going to say, okay, I got settings. Now I'm going to look at the child routes to see if anything matches. So that finds profile that matches. Great. Now it is going to render the settings profile component. But now when it renders it, it gets back to the first question that we asked in the last video. Where is, where is it going to put this rendered component? You had one router outlet at the application level, which was uh, app.component.html. Well, this is where the settings component went. Now, the settings component is sitting here. Now, in the settings component, you have a child. Now, where is that going to go? Well, in order to do that, you're going to have to create a router outlet in the settings component as well. So this is where the child of the settings component is going to get uh, plugged in, right? So you have uh, two levels here. The first level, you have app.component.html. This is going to map to the first level in the routing, which is going to be home or settings or the wildcard. Now, when it finds settings, it is going to render the settings component. That's it. That router outlet is plugged with that settings component. Settings component is sitting here. And now Angular discovers that you've probably accessed a slash profile. Now it has another component. Now where does it put this in? It is going to be in the immediate parent. So it is going to look for a router outlet in the immediate parent, which is which it finds here because we've added it here now. And then it is going to render that. I'm going to do an ng serve again to show you how this works. Now here is my settings. If I just access settings, I'm going to get the settings page. There is nothing to get into that router outlet that we have placed over here. But if I were to access slash profile, I get the settings profile here. And if I were to access contact, I'm going to get the settings contact. All right. So what we're doing here is navigating as a sub uh, route, right? It's a child route to settings. So you have one router outlet at the very top, which is encompassing everything you see in this page, and then an another router outlet for this child, which is this area, right? That's the router outlet that's specified over there. That's let This lets you play around with the defaults. So here you have a path empty, which is going to the home. Now let's say when somebody accesses setting, you want the default to be profile. Well, guess what? You can do something similar here at the child level, and it is going to apply to the child. So when somebody accesses settings and nothing else, I want it to go to profile. Okay. Now, if I were to leave the slash here, let me show you what happens. I'm going to access settings directly. You see here, it's actually going to the root, the slash is going to the root. That's kind of why you added a slash over here because you wanted it to go to the root. But in this case, you don't want it to go to the root. You want it to go to settings slash profiles. So in this case, I'm going to remove the slash and it's going to work just like you would expect it to. And it's going to be the relative URL. I'm going to do settings. And you see here, it's going to the relative URL slash profile. Okay, so now we have specified this. Wildcards work similarly as well. Now here you can have uh, settings page not found. So in this case, if you use a wildcard, this is when you use settings slash foo, it is going to match this. And uh, let's say I specify a redirect to over here. I don't want to create another component. I'm too lazy to do that now. So here, what I'm going to do is redirect to profile. And now if I were to access settings slash foo, Guess what happens? It redirects to profile and it does not 
show you the page not found component. However, if I were to access something else with that, which is not settings, it goes to the page not found component, all right? So the wildcards are specified at the level that you need. So I forgot the comma here, which is why it's complaining about an error. So the wildcard here works at the settings level. The wildcard here works at the parent level. So Angular is smart about applying the right wildcards at the right level. So the immediate level takes priority for wildcard matches and then this is the last priority when nothing else matches. So this is a little bit of an introduction about uh, nested routes. I am not going to cover a few more things about uh, routes. This is an introduction to Angular. It's Angular Basics as the title says. So I'm not gonna go too much in detail about routes, but this should give you an idea about how routing works. Uh, I hope you can look at the documentation on the Angular website for routing and then figure something out. If I have enough demand, I can create another uh, series of videos specifically devoted to routing in Angular. There's a lot to cover. There is a ways in which you can access uh, parameters here in these routes. There is this eager routing versus lazy loaded routes, which is a whole big topic uh, that really is out of scope for this uh, for this video. And then there's also a way in which you can access these route informations uh, in the component. Now, when you go to the settings component here um, in my um, .ts, what if you wanna access, say, parameters that were passed in the route, the route itself, all that stuff can be accessed over here by doing dependency injection of the right services. Uh, I'm not gonna be covering this in this course, maybe in another course, but uh, for now, I'm going to leave it at this. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to configure menus so that user can click on menus and switch between routes, and then we'll wrap up routing, at least as an introductory look. See you in the next video.